the text to column tool allows you to take a mess like this where it's obvious there's some data in here, there's a date, some sort of a branch code, an account number, a name and an amount but for some reason it's all in one column and we now want to work with it but we need it in separate columns so what we can do is we highlight the data and then under data you'll see an option called text to columns and when I choose that what Excel now needs to know it asks a few questions about what have you given it so you'll see there's two main types of text to column requirements the first one is delimited which means there's something in this data that tells Excel that it should be in a separate column so if you look at this it looks like there's a straight line up which does it there's also something called fixed width and that's where there's an exact amount of characters that you want and as it turns out this is probably also a viable option because you can see there's potentially that characters and you can see it seems to all line up exactly so let's try fixed width first when I say next if I'm clicked on fixed width I can then specify where it must go so it looks like the headings are going to give me problems but if I push it there I can click and maybe I'm just going to move it one to the so I can't really it either before that or after that so we'll put one there I can maybe put one there I can put one there so all of those seem to be fine let's just look that looks fine but then you'll see suddenly now we've got different lengths here so although that would work for a few of them we've got a bit of a problem here so let's go back so we're now going to say it's delimited and when I say next I can then specify what is the character that splits this now let's put some normal ones here tab, semicolon, comma and space those are fairly normal you can choose one of those if it's relevant but in this case we know it's other in this case it's the upward line so I'm going to choose that and the moment I type it in Excel says okay this is what it will look like and it's always useful just to scroll down and make sure that it looks correct once you've done that you can say next and this here is a very powerful tool because what it allows you to do is to control what's coming in here now you may have noticed that we've got bank account numbers and all of them start with a zero if I just let it come in as zero or as general as it's shown here what will happen is when these come in Excel will think that's a number and remove the zero from the front but that won't be allowed because what we're saying is we actually need that zero so we can tell Excel that when it comes in please don't treat it like a number please treat it as text and notice when I click on that it tells me that's going to come through as text you'll also notice that there's an option for do not import so for example if you have no interest in the branch I can say do not import or skip it so that this will skip it or I can go back to general you can also specify the date and there's a very useful trick around that when we can specify the date but once you're happy with this we click finished and you'll see what it does is it quickly splits that single column into multiple columns based on the straight line and if we've controlled how it comes in you'll notice here because it's text the zeros remain so that's a very quick way to get data out of a single column into multiple columns for further work